Hey everybody, it's Charles, your hobby hero, and today we're doing box number three out of our four on our Boxed Heroes Premium Boxes. If you have not seen the other videos, go watch them. I'll link uh, video number one up top. These boxes are premium for a reason. Uh, the grand prize book was an amazing fantasy 15 first appearance of Spider-Man. These books are boxes after tax and shipping right around $400 a piece. But every single box has a signature series book inside that is already graded by CGC. Um, so if, like I said, if you haven't seen the other videos, I highly recommend them. They have been, without any spoilers, great boxes so far. Uh, before we get started with this box though, make sure you hit that subscribe button down at the bottom corner. I do appreciate it. And I do weekly content in regarding the hobbies that I love the most. So having said that, we are going to jump right in. Now these boxes are pretty hefty boxes. Um, very nice though. Uh, so you can see, spared, no expense, careful, fragile, handle with care, all that good stuff. Get in here, there's been lots of little extras and goodies inside as well. Always appreciate the fun, unique things. I mean, obviously love comics, uh, but you know, have a lot of other hobbies too, and so do other people. So it's always kind of nice to get those added bonus items inside. Side. Oh, I know my brother will love this right here. We've got some Bloodlines cards. Uh, I'm pretty sure he had the market on those for a while there. Uh, oh, and I will definitely be looking forward to these. Some Wildcats. Uh, a little, you know, premature spec, but uh, I do love the Wildcats team. Um, just from my childhood, got some stickers and the Boxed Heroes pin and their contact information on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Check them out. So I've been very happy with their product so far. Um, I don't know if they were able to sell out this one. I know on the very last day it was open, I was able to get one more. So I don't know if that means they didn't sell all of them. They had 500 of these um, originally. Um, so we were just short of having a 1% chance um, at the grand prize, which is that amazing Spider-Man. Sorry, that was the uh, slab box, by the way. We're setting that one aside. Uh, the first two boxes, we had one box of kind of reader comic books um, and one box of premium comic books, which had keys, variant covers, um, some Silver Age goodness, lots of fun stuff. Um, I'll throw up the $400 amount up here on the top, and as we open these boxes, I'll subtract the recent solds uh, from those so you can see the value of these boxes. Um, again, the first two were great value boxes um, and hoping to just improve on these even more. Okay, so this is, I think the premium box one. I thought that on the last video too though, and I was wrong. Um, there's no trade in here though, so yes, this is the premium one here. Flip them over. All right, so we've got Civil War II. I think we actually had this one in our first uh, box. This is the Midtown Comics uh, J. Scott Campbell variant. Uh, again, big fan of J. Scott Campbell. Um, I used to have his Mary Jane up there on the wall. It's out at CGC right now, actually getting graded. Um, it's been <laughs> getting a lot of attention here lately, so book is probably going to be worth a little bit more than it was when I submitted it off. We've got, oh, the Tomb of Dracula number 13. It's a big one here. This is the origin of Blade. Um, so these books uh, have been heating up a lot. The Blade appearances in the Dracula series um, been gaining a lot of steam. That is probably a, a mid to low grade comic uh, in that condition, but again, another hot comic there. Okay, we've got Venom, and this is the first Lethal Protector number four. This is the first appearance of Scream. Um, so this is another one 
uh, that's got a little bit of buzz behind it. Obviously, anything with symbiotes in it, with the new Venom movie coming out, uh, has definitely been going north on anything like that. So I'm a big fan of these as well. I've been picking up a lot of the Spider-Man Rogues Gallery, um, and uh, always happy to get more keys in that line as well. So then we got oh. This is Asriel, Sword of Asriel, book one. I had this one listed as the first appearance of Asriel. So that's cool there. I remember growing up in the as a 90s kid, uh, this guy was all the rage. Had a couple action figures of Asriel. We got, oh, Dr. Afra number seven, talking about another book that is red hot. Uh, Dr. Afra has been on fire here lately. Uh, and this is the first appearance of Win Delphis. Um, so another great book here, another series of books. And happy to have that one as well. We've got Amazing Spider-Man number one, Midtown New York Comic Con exclusive. Now this is a cameo of Silk. Um, and then again, J. Scott Campbell variant. Um, we got his Mary Jane, um, one of my favorite artists of Mary Jane and Black Cat. Um, very high grade comic, very thick comic. It barely fits in the mylar there, so nice one there. We've got Jupiter's Legacy number one. Now, there was a first issue of Jupiter's Legacy in every one of these boxes. Uh, this is the variant E blank cover. Perfect for signing and sketching. Um, so maybe if they've got a Mark Miller or Frank quietly signing here, and we'll shoot this one in. A little bit of color rub on the front, but nothing that an artist eraser can't take care of. Three more books here. We've got Forever People. Um, DC Forever People, number seven. Uh, 25 cent, 52 pager. Uh, so 52 pager that timeline probably Silver Age DC goodness here we've got oh, Master of Kung Fu we've got The Hands of Shang-Chi number 35 um, I don't pretty good condition pretty high co uh, grade copy here um, very good to very good plus um, so some Shang-Chi love for the movie coming out. And then our last one here before we get into our second box. Ooh, a Tower of Shadows. 15 cent Marvel book. A little guy with a pencil fighting a rat in a rat hole. The suspense is killing me. I can barely contain myself. I'm going to just rip it open. I think maybe that one's supposed to be in the reader's pile. Let's set these aside here. And let's see what I get to add to my reading library here. Been some interesting selections so far in the reader's piles. Uh, trade in here first. Trade is The Boys, Dear Becky. I actually wanted to read this here, too. I had not uh, gotten any of the issues. Whoops. Throw this on the floor. Of Dear Becky yet, so I have not read this. I'll be interested to kind of see what the take is on that one here. So that's a nice little pickup. Uh, then we've got ooh, Power Man and Iron Fist. Now, these books are actually getting a little bit of traction right now uh there's been some speculation that this series is going to be coming to the mcu um so not too uh upset about this one right here uh it's five out of five with it being a modern story too very likely that they'll be pulling stuff for it for the series we have four out of five three out of five two out of five we got one out of five, first issue. Okay, let's see what else we got here. We got five more books here. We got Chaos War. Uh, Chaos King Triumphant. Some cool covers there. Chaos War, 
four, Chaos War three, Chaos War two, just make sure they're in order. We had some out of order in the last one, and Chaos War number one. All right, so fun reading stuff again, which will bring us to the main event, our slab. Our either sign slab, or you know, it could just be Amazing Fantasy 15. Doesn't have a signature on it though, but it's Amazing Fantasy 15. Oh boy. I think this is a big one. I think we got one of the not big, big grand prize, the grand prize, but we got one of the grand prizes here. There were several, which is why I had not listed them on the other videos. This is an old book. I can't see the front. I can see the back, and this is an old book. And it's a low grade. I can see the back grade <laughs> on it. Um, this is going to be I uh, I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to show you. Grade and all. Because I already know the grades, so there's no point in hiding it from you. Oh, that is Flash. That is Flash. That is, oh man, like I said, a .5. This is the first Silver Age Flash. Uh, I, <laughs> um, wow. Um, First appearance of Mirror Master, um, one of his big guys in his rogues gallery. This is insane. Um, I, I said it is it's brittle pages. This book has has seen some stuff. Um, oh, it's signed too. <laughs> um, spine covers completely spill, split, covers detached. Um, so I mean, it it's barely got that qualified label, but it has it. This is beautiful. This is insane. And as far as DC goes, Flash is one of my favorite characters out of that universe. Um, wow, that is huge. Uh, let me know, like I said in the comments below, if you guys are, I mean, I don't even know. Like what, uh, what else to say about this? I mean, show some love for the silver first appearance of Silver Age Flash. Um, Wow, that is, I, I said, that that is a huge hit. That is one of the bigger hits up there. Like I said, we'll have the, if there even is a recent sold, signed um, Silver Age Flash book even out there. Um, wow, that is inc <laughs> insane. I don't even know what to say. Um, make sure you check out video number four uh, in the series. And until next time, Hobby Hero out.